Welcome to Luis Tutorial TV. We're going to go ahead and review Sonar X3 Producer. Now this program is widely used by professional sound recording studios and DJs. So this program uh, can do a lot when it comes to sound recording, uh, music editing, all of that. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. I will post a link on the description of this video below where you can download a free trial. I'm using the trial right now to try it out and review it. Review it. And um, when, you, when you download it and install it, this is what you get at first. You can go ahead and open a project, open a recent project, or create a new project. Uh, let's go ahead and click on create a new project. Now you're gonna get a couple of templates here that you can choose from, all right? 16 track audio, 24 track normal, surround sound 5.1. I'm just going to go ahead and pick normal just for the uh, purpose of this tutorial. And you can go ahead and uh, change the location of your uh, project. And you can uh, make actually a folder for your audio files. So, you, so this program is really, really organized. Like I said, it's made for professionals. And um, so just go ahead and make a folder where you're going to save your audio files and where you're going to save the project at. All right. I'm just gonna leave it as the um, defaults there. I'm gonna call this test seven because I already tested this like six times. All right, and then click OK once you name it. It'll take a while here to start up depending on how fast your computer is. All right, and this is what it looks like here. Now, it looks overwhelming, but I'm gonna walk you through how to use this, okay? It took me a while, but uh, um, hopefully uh, I can show you. All right, so here it is. It's got all these fancy uh, uh, controls and all of this, but uh, I, re I really just ignore it, some of this. I'm not a professional at this yet. I'm just reviewing the program. I'm not a professional sound recording uh, person here, but um, the way you start here, is you go ahead first thing you got to do here is click up here where you s up here where it says custom right next to the timer you'll see where it says custom click on the on the drop down menu and click all you want to get more controls here all right and you want to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so go ahead and make it bigger all right now you want to go ahead and click right here where it says none next to the gain op the gain controls Select that drop down. Uh, I just got some weird error here. Um, don't listen to that. <laughs> All right. So right next to the gain controls, go ahead and click on that drop down box or drop down menu, and click on selected track inputs. All right. So right now, what we're gonna try to do is hold on a second. Let's try that again. All right. So you gotta go ahead and click on selected track input series click on that if you have a microphone go ahead and select left microphone there's gonna be a left and a right but just go ahead and select left so right now we're choosing the microphone if you have a guitar plugged into your computer this is for more advanced uh, go ahead and choose your guitar it should be listed there I really don't know how that works but um, this is where it's gonna list everything that you have connected to your computer alright all I have is a microphone so select left microphone if all you have is a microphone or select your device whatever it might be guitars etc etc all right click ok so now we chose an input device now go ahead and click over here where it says master right underneath the volume control and click on selected track outputs here you want to select your speakers minus speakers high definition audio all right click ok so right now we got the input, which is a microphone, and the output, which is a speaker set up. All right, we got the basics down now. All right, so now, um, now you can add as many uh, instruments as you want. You can go ahead over here and add another instrument. If you go to edit, actually, if you go to insert, you can also you can actually insert another audio track, and there it is. It's inserted now. So you can insert as many audio tracks as you want, and the audio track you can apply it to an instrument, like we just did a while ago. All right. Okay. 
Now, if you want to record from that instrument, click on the record uh, little red button. Now that one's set to record. And you can select all the instruments you want to record at the same time. Now when I talk into the microphone, you notice that uh, it goes up and down. And I have my microphone set uh, pretty good. It stays on the middle. It doesn't go on the red like this. Like this. <laughs> See how it went to red right there? Yeah. Uh, you want it in the middle. When you talk, stay in the middle, kind of like mine is right now. Uh, if it's not, go ahead and adjust it accordingly. All right. So now we got the microphone down. Now let's go ahead and uh, record something. So to record, you click on the record, big record red button up here next to the timer at the very top. Now, if you notice, it's recording and doing a really annoying sound. I, it took me forever to find out how to get rid of this. This could be helpful if you have headphones on. You know, it can guide you. Pa, pa, pa. You can start, like, you know, rapping, you know, and staying with it using this clap. But I personally don't want to use it. I'm going to go ahead and plot and stop this. To get that off, to turn it off, go ahead and click on Edit. Click on Preferences. Click on metronome. All right, you're gonna see a record count at the top here. Uh, put it to zero. All right, zero measures, and uncheck the recording box, and then click apply, and close. So now when we when we record, we're not gonna hear it anymore. Let me go ahead and uh, get rid of this. All right, so now I'm recording, and now um, it's not doing that clapping sound. Some people like it, but I don't. It just annoys me. It, distra it distracts me. But, I, but I'm not a rapper or a singer or nothing, so that's why I don't use it. As you can tell, I, I make uh, tutorial videos. All right. So there it is. It's not clapping anymore, and we're recording. Now, you can go ahead and edit in here. If you want to add a song, let's go ahead and add a song to this. Add a song to me talking. <laughs> go to So basically, go to File. If you want to add a song, you click on File import click audio I'm gonna look for my music here mm, I'm trying to find a song that doesn't have copyright where is it here it is this one doesn't have a copyright so we can open and use this one And I want to drag and drop it down here. This could be a little tricky, but I want to drag and drop it to the bottom here. And it's not letting me. Oh, I just made two tracks now. Crap. Let's go ahead and you can go to edit and then undo paste. You can undo what you've done. All right, let's go to file again, import, audio. Let's choose that song again. Where to go? Let's go ahead and play it. I love this song. In this club, hanging with the boys, ladies for us. We're gonna show the girls just how we roll. Cause there is nothing here to stop us, no. So, right here, I want to add. So, in the middle of the song here, I want to add me, I don't know, saying Luis Tutorial TV or something, just to see how it sounds inside the song. I'm no singer, okay, but I just want to try this. All right. Luis Tutorial TV. I'm trying to sound like epic rap battles of history, you know, here. <laughs> All right, let's see how that sounds. Luis Tutorial TV. Okay, but hold on. I'm trying to put it with the actual song, though. Like, you know, be mixed inside the song. Uh, having no... Uh, no success here doing it as you can tell I'm new using this program nice tutorial TV. there it is <laughs> it worked 
And for some reason, I uh, stopped this song there. Let's fast forward it a little. Tutorials for you. I love this song. All right. So that's pretty much uh, it for the editing. I still got to find out how to how to actually uh, bring one of these tracks down here. If you know how to do it, if you have more experience than me on, on uh, Sonar, uh, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video below. Let us know how to do it. Um, we're, I'm still trying to figure out how to use it, but I love this program. It has so many features. I love the way you can uh, select your input. So you can actually you know, input your guitars, whatever instrument you might have connected to your computer. You can input it. This is a true professional uh, uh, sound recording studio program. I like it. I like it. I give this program a really good review. I still got to learn how to use it. I uh, just got the basics down, as you can tell. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed the, t the tutorial and the review. Hopefully, I've helped you out if you're trying to figure out how to do the basics on it, which took me a while to figure it out. That's pretty much it. Um, oh, yeah, if you want to save it, if you're done with your mix, go to File. Export, select audio. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to save it as test seven. All right. Now you can choose right here. Click on file type, drop down menu. You can select MP3, WAVE, which it default setting is WAVE because WAVE is really high quality, or MP3. If you select MP3, go ahead and change the sample rate to 11025 and change the bit depth to 16. That's the only way it's going to let you do an MP3. Click on export and a bit rate. You can actually make this more high quality by selecting 160 bit rate. And for quality down here, uh, drag it to better. All right. And click OK. And now it's going to mix it. So at the very top there, you can see that it's mixing it right now. It's making it. And that's going to take a while. Yep, it is going to take a while. Let's go ahead and wait for it. Now, this program does have a lot of controls on here. I, I only uh, covered about, uh, shoot, like 15%, maybe 10% of the, everything there is to do on this program. Like I said, it's made for professionals. So go play with it. Download the free trial. Play with it. Uh, comment on the comment section let me know what you think about it um, I, re I really like this program I think I'm gonna have to purchase it uh, let's wait for it to be done here and after we play the, the audio to make sure it works I'm gonna show you how much this program costs if you decide to buy it all right let's go to the desktop and play it see how it sounds all right, so now I'm recording and now, um, it's that's me talking sound. some people like it but I don't just annoys me. It, distra it distracts me. But I'm but I'm not a rapper or a singer or nothing, so that's why I don't use it. As you can tell, I. Nice. All right. So it looks like it worked. It uh, got made into MP3. Now we're let's go ahead and take a look at the prices of Sonar. The one we were looking at cost $99 but they have other versions too they have a sonar studio for $199 and they have sonar producer which pretty much has everything on it uh, award-winning rapture melodyne essentials pitch correction vintage effects expandable pro channel linear phase mastering I don't know what half of this is <laughs> full version audio active drums 
that's cool pro channel quad curve zoom analyzer it has all I, so I guess the producer has all those extra stuff the one we were doing only has the uh, stuff labeled in orange here and it costs 99 bucks the one we reviewed today which is not bad for what it does I would love to see what studio and producer do I don't think they have a free trial for those um, I would love to try a free trial on those May, I'll, I'll try it soon all right, so that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you have any comments, uh, go ahead and comment on the comment section below. Don't, sus don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe, I'll subscribe back. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day.